Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson, talking today about the low volley on the backhand side of the court, okay? Um, Got to make sure you guys are in continental grip, hopefully for every volley, but especially for the low volley because we need that racket angle to be open to produce a ball that comes up a little bit, okay? Number two, to get yourselves down like we need to for a low volley, you guys have to make sure you're split stepping and try split stepping where you land a little lower than normal when you're at the net. At the baseline, it's okay to kind of split and stay upright a little more. When you guys are at the net, try to split and land a little lower. And that way, if, if the ball does come low, we're much closer to getting down correctly for it, okay? So the three things I want to talk about today. First and foremost, um, the racket head, you guys, when you volley, you know, most coaches are telling you not to let that racket head dip down below your hand or the handle. And for a low volley, there's just plenty of times where if the ball gets anywhere below my knees, I'm just going to have to let that racket head drop down once in a while. Okay? So, with that being said, be cautious with that because if we start letting the racket drop below the handle really quickly, we can get kind of a violent miss. So if, if you feel like you need to let the racket head drop to help get you down to the ball, try to take care of that. Do it slowly and really feel the ball impact the strings. That'll help you keep some control. Okay, number two, that step into the volley where we normally just step in with the right foot, we're gonna have to get into a little more of a lunge pose when you guys hit this low backhand volley. So I wanna see that right leg that you step in with help sit you down. And you guys can see my shoulders are up and that back knee is pretty close to the ground. A lot of you guys will start trying to go down to low volleys with your legs straight, which means you're bending at the waist and we start golfing that ball up. So sometimes you might make that, but it's kind of disaster for that next shot coming back. So get into that lunge pose when you get down to the low volley. Thirdly, when you get in here, if you guys start to try to help the volley up too much, try to get height underneath it too quickly, and you aim too high, it's really easy to produce a long miss. So I want you guys to start aiming a little bit lower over the top of the net when you guys get in there to hit this low volley. Aim only a foot or two over the top of the net where a traditional volley you know, if I'm hitting from eye level, I'm clearing the net by three or four feet. So let's avoid that long miss and start letting the ball kind of just scoot right over the top of the net. Okay, so let's take a look. See if I can put all three of those things together. I'm gonna get that lunge pose. I'm gonna dig that racket in down to the ball a little more and I'm gonna try to keep my, uh, my ball flight a little bit lower. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you can see lunge pose that racket heads kind of dropping under the ball a little bit more And you couldn't see my result, but I kept all those pretty close to the top of the net. Okay One thing to tack on to this you guys we don't want to sit around and hit a lot of low volleys Especially don't want more than one per rally hopefully So if you guys can get in there and start hitting this shot well Try to start moving in a little bit and one thing that will help you with that forward momentum, balance out the follow through by letting that left hand go a little bit higher. Hopefully all you guys are trying to hit this shot one-handed. If the left hand stays low with the racket, it kind of kills my forward momentum. If I can let that left hand go up and balance me out, it actually becomes easier to end up popping forward and going to hopefully get a closeout volley. So let's take a look at that. One low volley, get that left hand. Let's go one more time there, Mark, nice and low. Good, and then I'll try to get in and get a little more of a put away volley, okay? So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, please click like below this video. And if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, we'll see you guys soon.